What's going on everybody? Low Tech back here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at how to install Android 10 on your Nintendo Switch. The build we're going to be using is an unofficial build. It is not an official Switch root build. So therefore, install it at your own risk. If something goes wrong, um, unfortunately it's uh, your Switch that no longer functions. Um, it was successful for me on multiple different SD cards. On one particular console, I didn't try it on multiple consoles, but I didn't run into any issues that uh, caused the switch to be bricked. So, I feel it's relatively safe, but again, anything can happen when you're dealing with, you know, this type of installation on a device that it's not meant for. Uh, with that being said, you're going to need this build, which I have a link in the description, which will allow you to download all the files that you will need to perform this uh, procedure. So once you download that, every, the only other things you will need is an unpatched switch, a way to load into a payload program. Hikati is the one we're going to be using here. So you can either do the corded method, or you, if you have a jig and an RCM loader, you can do it that way. Obviously, you'll need a jig either way, but the RCM loader, the little device, is a substitute for having to connect it to your PC. Either method will work, you just got to be able to boot into Hakate. Alright, that's the uh, prerequisites and requirements. Now we'll uh, go step by step and see exactly how to install Android 10 on your Switch. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the Lineage OS zip file that I have included a link in the description for. Click it, it will download a zip file. You're going to want to extract the zip file. You're going to want to connect your SD card to the, your computer. You're going to want to make sure your SD card is formatted to uh, FAT32. I highly recommend you format it in FAT32 to avoid any issues. Then you're going to copy all the contents of the extracted download file into the root of your SD card. It's about a 700 something megabyte file so it shouldn't take too long but you're going to want to wait till that's done on your SD card. And once it is all on your SD card, you can eject your SD card. You can then reinsert your SD card into your switch. And then I am using an RCM loader. So I will hold my volume button down, power button. Again, you can do this either way. You can do it in, with the PC. You just got to be able to load into your payload. Okay, once you're in the payload, you're going to need to set the date. So set your date. Once you set your date, press the done button. Once that's done, it'll just hit OK. And the next thing you're going to need to do is go to about the upper center and press the tools button. After pushing tools, you're going to see uh, down the lower right, RCM. You're going to press RCM. Partition SD card, you're going to push that. You're going to hit OK. Then you're going to slide or tap the uh, Android user orange slider all the way to maximum size. Then you're going to press next step. And then you're going to press start to start partitioning. And it's going to back up what is already on the SD card. In our case, it is uh, the Lineage OS files and the Google Play Store files. So you'll wait for that to finish. Once that is complete, you're going to have three buttons you can press. You can, you're going to press Flash Android. Then you're going to press Continue. And once it'll say Success, you're going to want to now continue to boot into TWRP and finish the Android installation. At this point, if you have a jig or anything else, pull it all out and then push your Continue button. You'll see the Hakate logo, but you won't have to do anything. It'll go straight into TWRP. Once you get to this screen, you're going to swipe to allow modifications. Then you're going to go to Install. 
and then you're going to press the in the folder section up a level then you're going to look for the external ST, SD folder and you're going to go first with the lineage OS click that and then you're going to swipe to confirm flash now you're going to ignore any error messages anything you may see because there'll be a lot of unable to mount and fail to do this and that you can ignore all that let this go uh, depending on the speed of your SD card it may take a while I am speeding the video up it will not go this fast and once it's done we are going to hit the back button it'll be in your lower leftish and then you're going to now do the next file which is for your Google Play Store and you're gonna swipe again to confirm flash it's gonna go through it again this time it's not as longer as the first flash because that was the much larger that was the entire Android OS uh, this is much shorter won't take as long I am also speeding up the video here however again it's not as long as installing lineage but I am speeding it up it will take a little longer once it's done you're gonna again want to hit the back button and go back all the way to the main menu where we started And you're going to want to click Reboot, and then you can press to bootloader. Once you're in Hakate, you're going to want to click More Configs, and then you're going to want to press the Switch Root Android. And you're going to see the Hakate logo again, and it's going to go black. You will have a, dark, a black screen for a while. I did speed up the video. It could be up to a minute or longer before you actually see this little line with a circle for the lin Lineage OS logo symbol. It could be a minute or more before you actually start to see this. Then you'll see this uh, logo animation for quite a bit as well. I also sped up the video, as you see, because it just takes a while. The initial boot. After your first boot, it does not take this long. But the first boot is a while. And then you're done. And once you're done, you will get to this screen. There will be this message of the Android system is an internal problem. It's because the hardware that this build is for is not obviously being detected because this is a switch and not whatever hardware this was built off of. So you can go through, set your date, your time, your password, sign into Google, whatever you got to do. Uh, I'm skipping a lot of it. I'm not setting up a password. I'm just getting right to the main screen. So it'll take a few more seconds. Hit a few more next buttons to get to the lineage. And then you start and then it'll load up your main screen. You'll see you got the Google Play Store there. Uh, you see you can swipe and see your folder app, your web browser, uh, everything, you know, the basic stuff in Android. And uh, yeah, from here, we're done. One last thing I want to show you guys. You have to go into settings. You need to scroll down to the bottom to about tablet. You need to go down to build number and repeatedly pat tap build number until you enable development settings. Once that's done, you can go up one to the system settings. You can press advanced. Then you'll have a developer options, push that. And then you're gonna wanna enable advanced restart. This will now allow you, when you hold your power button down, you will be able to click reboot and it'll give you a few advanced options, one being the bootloader. This will get you back into Hakate. That's it. That's how you install Android 10 on your Switch. It's uh, relatively simple. Uh, follow this guide. Pause it where you need to if I'm going a little too fast. But if you follow all these steps, it should be successful. Um, I would say be careful on what SD card you use. Um, I used a Kingston 32 gigabyte micro SD HC card. It was a little bit of an older card. And it was a little bit slower of an install as compared to putting it on a 64 gig SanDisk Ultra Plus XC1 that had a little bit higher speed. So the better the card you use, the faster it'll be and the more reliable. And the older the card or if it's generic, you may run into issues and errors and problems. So I would stick to name brands, SanDisk, Samsung, those two I, I use the most. The Kingston one was just one I had lying around. It worked, but the SanDisk's one never gave me issues. 
Samsung hasn't either. So I would go with those two. But other than that, the SD card is really the only factor that could mess with this installation. If you have an unpatched switch, you should be good. Uh, you can't do this on the switch Lite if you're wondering. And you can't do it on a patch switch. It's got to be unpatched. So the earlier original versions of the switch. Um, that's all I got. I'm going to call it a wrap. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative, helpful. Um, if you enjoy this video and all my other videos, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate it. Thank you all and have a good day.